Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday. It is Saturday, uh, June 27th, 2020. Uh, we had a lot of rain uh, overnight and in the early part of today. So, which was good because we needed the rain. So, I will never complain about that. <sighs> Gotta show you how big these girls are getting in comparison now. There's the, the two biggest uh, birds. They're, they're almost the same size as the other birds. They haven't just filled out yet, but they're getting really, really big. The other ones must be inside. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to do a video. We gotta talk about Minneapolis with uh, the, the police department there. And uh, the city council has unanimously uh, voted to defund the police department, okay? So what happens, what does that mean? So basically they will be on a ballot this November about uh, basically getting rid of the police department as they know it, okay? And uh, I think that is actually, it's unbelievable, uh, to be honest with you. When you have a city the size, the size that they are, oh, and they're in the top 25 as far as crime goes for the size of their city as well. So they want to go, and this is what I find just amazing, they want to go with a more holistic type of uh, police department where p different professionals specialize in different things. And i got to tell you what, and I'm going to give you my opinion. The criminals must be licking their chops. Licking their chops. Um, are, are, so you, what you got to understand already, okay, Every scumbag in low life out there now realizes, number one, as of right now, and this is across the country, okay, that the police have to handle things with kit gloves right now. They have to be extra vigilant, extra careful, because as soon as something doesn't go the way of the criminal, now you got to remember this is the criminal, as soon as something doesn't go the way of the criminal, they'll be screaming police abuse and of course you know the media just festers on that especially if it is you know a certain way that the crime has been you know the criminal who depending on who the criminal is and all that type of stuff so it is amazing to me uh of what with what is going on uh it just it's unbelievable but uh so it has to go on the ballot and then it wouldn't you know if it passes um, and the voters decide they want to defund the police department, uh, they would initiate change. It would, you know, be over time and stuff like that. But it is amazing to me, just absolutely amazing. Uh, I think they said they have 400,000 interactions, uh, the police do every year with citizens in that area. Uh, there are over 50,000 traffic uh, citations written per year um, in that area too. So now, Let's be realistic for a moment. I don't care, any town. It doesn't have to be there. It can be any town that's out there. You have a certain element that is going to be the criminal element. And I don't care, like I said, small town America, wherever. Uh, you know, out where I live, small town, the police out here know who the players are. That's just a fact, okay? So, obviously, is there going to be extra scrutiny on those type of people? Of course they are, because they are generally the ones that are going to be having problems with the police. When okay, so here's a great example. I'm going to give you a great example of something. So I mind my own business out here. I do my own thing. I don't bother nobody. Keep a low profile. I'm doing what I'm doing, right? So when I was swatted, uh, what, what two years ago now? I think it's two years. Uh, when I was maybe I don't know whatever it was. It's probably, yeah, probably like two years ago now at this point. Um, and I was swatted. And the state troopers came and stuff like that. And um, so I had talked to the one. He lives up in this area where I live. And he said to me, while we were talking after we, you know, they figured out that it was a swatting and the whole nine, and they had looked through the house and make sure there was nobody dead or kidnapped and all this type of stuff. Uh, they, he said to me, he goes, well, I've never had any interaction with you. And I said, yeah, because I mind my own business. So th there you go. If you keep a low profile, mind your own business, you're not going to be known to the police because you're not an agitator, you're not a troublemaker, you're not somebody that's out there committing crimes. It's amazing to me how if you obey the law, 
for the most, you know, I mean, for the most part, you know, you're going to, if you get stopped for a traffic citation or whatever, that's totally different. But if you obey the law, police don't bother you because they have no reason to bother you. You know, they, believe me, there's plenty of other things out there for them to do. Um, but I'll tell you what, with Minneapolis wanting to, like I said, the, the city council's already voted unanimously to defund the police department. And so, you know, but it's just their 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 goals of how they're going to deal with things. I think is freaking hysterical, because I'm going to tell you what. You know, you can hate the police all you want. Man, what is this dog doing over here? This is Pandora, guys. I got to show you this. She has a been digging. All right, I got to have to. I'm going to have to work on that. I'm going to have to fill that in. But that's she. She's been digging. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out here and work work on taking care of that because I can't have her doing that. Uh, anyway, I just saw that. I was like looking at that. But anyway, I want to hear your feedback. What do you you know? I, and and I love the fact that they want to use like social workers for certain things. Yeah, good luck with that. Go go you use social workers for domestic violence stuff. See how that works out. There's Mr. Loose. Come on, yeah, a boy, yeah, a boy. Um, there's Mr. Buddy. Of course, he's out here wanting to be on video. But anyway, you know, I want. This is, it's 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 so funny that they act like you know this is all gonna everything's gonna be better. They're gonna work it all out. I'm gonna tell you what, guys. Been around long enough to know. Criminals never care about laws. Criminals are gonna continue to do what criminals do. Uh, and if you think that it's gonna change because you defund the police department or you you change this that or the other thing uh, you are living in a freaking fantasy land that's where you're living you're not living in reality you are definitely in a fantasy land so um, I want to hear your feedback on this I really want to hear what you have to say um, about it I mean what are their options what are they going to be able to do Look, I'm going to show you how wet this is I mean this is all still a lot of moisture in here because we had a good good rain so it was really, really good. But uh, everything is doing very well. Plants are doing great. So take you over here and show you these. Radishes are here. Uh, these are the green beans. Freaking doing awesome. Uh, we have all peas in through here. We got actually got to get in here and do a little weeding. Uh, obviously here, the uh, yellow squash is doing fantastic. <laughs> here, I'll show you actually now here. So there, they're starting to blossom, see? And that will end up being yellow squash. And all those small ones that you see, they'll open up as well. So we will be, we'll, we'll, I think we're going to have our hands full with yellow squash. Peppers are looking good. So... Yeah, garden is doing well, and I still have all this dirt here, and you can see I've been kind of working into it and taking a lot of the greens, and I just give that to the birds. I just uh, pull out so many a day and take it over and give it to the birds, so it's working out really, really well. This here is the cantaloupe, and you see we got lots of blossoms on those. Those are going to be doing good. Uh, these are the cucumbers, and they're doing well. They're growing really, really good. So, yeah, it's going to be, we're going to have a nice little, nice little thing with the garden. And then obviously we have tomato plants here, and then more peppers over here. So, but uh, anyway, uh, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic. I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think? I mean, the sun is out now. It's not bad. I'll kick this over here. It's kind of cleared up now, which is nice. But uh, it was coming down earlier today. I never opened up the greenhouse today because of that reason. But, uh, so, uh, I did order. I have four more face cord of wood coming. And so I should get that next week. So I will get that stacked up and get that put away. And then I kind of want to see uh, where I'm at. Let me walk in here real quick for the uh, woodshed. 
So with four more face cord, uh, I think that'll take up this whole, at least this whole row for sure, and then maybe part of the next row. I don't know for sure. We'll have to see how it goes, but uh, you know, we'll we'll play that by ear, and we'll see where we're at wood wise at that point. I may end up doing four more face cord as well past that point. So right now we have 22 face cord. I think I already told you guys that. Uh, a lot, six buckets of kindling out of this. And uh, so, you know, with the wood chips and stuff like that. So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, free kindling is always good. But, uh, you know, and then I still have to get back into the hedgerow and get some other stuff for, uh, you know, burning. For It's all sitting there and it's all dry. So... We will cross those bridges when we get there. But uh, we've got a good amount of wood right now already, so I'm really, really happy. And um, so that's where we're at with that. What the heck was that? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's where we're at. That's what's going on. So anyway, guys, um, I am going to jump off of here for now. I hope everybody's doing well. There's Mr. A.B. coming. There's Mr. Buddy. What's going on, A.B.? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> Little guys. They're so cute. Three to boys. So, anyway, um, let me jump off of here for now. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I hope you're being safe. Uh, like I said, we had good, good rains today, which, well, like I said, it was always needed. But, uh, you know, we got to kind of, you know, we, needed, we needed that rain. We needed a good soaking rain. So we got that, and that's going to really help with everything. We'll help the water tables and stuff like that as well. So uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Uh, also remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you. So be positive, stay away from that negativity, and you will be fine. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Again, like I said... Uh, and I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, I will be live streaming tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Do it every Sunday. So I will get a video up before then, obviously. But uh, get some standing water. <laughs> like I said, it was a good rain. It was a real good rain. So, but uh, I'll show you in the back here real quick before I jump off. So what the deal is back here, and just so you guys know again, to try to explain things, what's happening. Uh, we're going to be putting the addition over here. It's going to go back into here in this area. It's going to be a 30 by 40. And with the way that it works is once I get um, the permit for that, you have like a year. And then you can actually extend it beyond a year if you have to. So what the game plan is, what I'm going to try to do, we're going to, we're, realistically, everything's going to depend on finances and where we're at. But I want to try to get uh, the pylons in, because you got to dig them down, get below the frost line. I want to try to get those in first before the winter comes, uh, and then we're going to kind of go from there. But uh, we'll see what happens. And, uh, you know, it's just, what? What? Little Miss Molly. So that's what we're up to. That's what's going on. But I just kind of wanted to show you this. But uh, but we got some water just because of the rain. But not bad. All right. I will see you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.